Hey Crosspoint, my name is Robert. I'm the youth pastor here at Crosspoint Anaheim. And today I wanna to ask you a question. Have you ever felt overlooked? Have you ever felt like, man, no matter what I do, someone else always just comes by and always beats me to it? Man, it's just so frustrating and it just drives you insane. It's like, man, does anyone even notice me? I'm trying to finish this race. I'm trying to finish this project at work. Maybe you're like, I'm, I'm trying to do my best and I'm, every time I give it my all, someone always just beats me to it. Does anyone recognize me? Today we are in day five of our 21 day fast and devotion. And today we are picking up in John chapter five, where a man feels very similar to you and I. He's like, man, I've worked so hard to get, get here, but yet whenever the time comes, someone always passes me by. We're gonna pick up in John chapter five, where there's a lame man who is waiting by this pool, surrounded by tons of other people who are either blind, who are either lame or paralyzed. And they're sitting around this pool waiting for the Lord to send an angel to it. And he sends this angel to it, the water bubbles. And when that happens, whoever gets into the water at that time gets healed. And this man for 30 Eight years has been paralyzed and has been sitting there trying to get into this pool to be healed. But yet, whenever that time comes and it's time for him to get into the pool, someone always beats him there. And he's just accepted the fact now that, you know what? No matter what I do, I can't get there. And so in verse 6, Jesus sees this man. And he says, when Jesus saw him, he asked the man, would you like to get well? And the man answers in verse seven, I can't, sir. The sick man said, for I have no one to put me into the pool when the water bubbles. Someone else always gets there ahead of me. Man, he's so frustrated. He's like, no matter what I try to do, when that water bubbles, when that opportunity for you and I arises, no matter what I try to do to get there, someone always beats me there. But in verse eight, Jesus says this to him, stand up, pick up your mat and walk. Instantly, the man was healed. He rolled up his sleeping mat and began to walk. Today, I wanna to encourage you. I know you've been at this thing for a long time and you're feeling like, man, no one sees me. No one recognizes me. I want you to know this, that God, he always recognizes you and he sees you where you're at. And I want you to know this, that he loves you and he cares for you. And I want to encourage you to give it to him. Give it to God. Allow him to work in you and through you. Have a great rest of your day. And we will talk to you tomorrow for day six. All right, guys.